Words cannot nearly express the gratitude I feel to God for the time I have spent here working alongside you, furthering God's kingdom together, sharing all the joys and sorrows of living the Catholic faith in our time. But my mother always taught me that our family was very big and a big family continues to share. So I shared my family with another family, the family of the Archdiocese of San Antonio. And now I am here to share with my new family, the family of San Bernardino and Riverside Counties. Let the Inland Empire become a true crossroads that leads others to know God, to live together in the dignity that is ours as God's children. To this end, I commit my service to you as your bishop, your brother, and your servant. Bendito sea Dios. We, the Church of San Bernardino, our community of believers in Jesus Christ, call the impact family, neighborhood, and society with the gospel so that people's lives have the view. And may God bless you. Amar entregarse uh, means a lot to me personally. Uh, amar is to love, and uh, through my life I've experienced uh, many occasions in which I have felt loved by others, my parents, family. Bishop Gerald R. Barnes was born on June 22, 1945, to George and Aurora Barnes. When he was just a year old, his family relocated to Southern California, where they operated a general store in the Boyle Heights community of East Los Angeles. The family was strong in their Catholic faith, living the gospel values of charity, compassion, and accompaniment. They often opened their home to the stranger, to the one in need. Bishop Barnes was ordained to the priesthood in the Archdiocese of San Antonio, Texas on December 20th, 1975. He would serve there for 17 years. Then came the call to the Episcopacy and to San Bernardino. As the first Auxiliary Bishop of San Bernardino, he worked closely with our first ordinary, Bishop Philip Straley. I still recall um, that Bishop Barnes came to meet me in San Bernardino prior to the announcement that uh, he was going to be made an Bishop. Bishop. But uh, I still recall him at my residence on 17th Street in San Bernardino coming across the lawn. And, and I found out he gave the excuse that he had some business in San Bernardino. <laughs> but a great joy, I think, for the Diocese of San Bernardino. And I think what really excited me was that how he and I were able to work together. He gave us a chance to really kind of jail and also that he learned where we were and that he could then build upon that. Although he had grown up in Southern California, Bishop Barnes wasn't too familiar with the Inland Empire, but he trusted in the Holy Spirit to guide his way. It was in a sense, in a sense of an abandonment, because in the sense of trusting, I didn't feel abandoned, not that sense, but me trusting uh, this place, just a few years into his episcopacy, Bishop Barnes used his collaborative leadership style to create a unifying vision for the diocese. I got to witness the need to have people focus on a vision um, that at least we could identify who we are because we're so different and, and mixed in many, many different ways, but who we are together is what was needed. Next came the development of the four core values of the diocese. Another important aspect of Bishop Barnes's legacy was his support and encouragement of lay formation. What began as a Australian Leadership Institute in the early years of the diocese evolved into the Ministry Formation Institute, a renowned and accredited lay formation program that has become a national model. 
Through a quarter century of leading the diocese, Bishop Barnes was faced with many challenges. He addressed the clergy sex abuse scandal with transparency and humility, once again providing a model for dioceses nationwide. In this difficult time, I want to be open, honest, and accountable to the Catholic faithful and to all people of goodwill. And so I have made the decision to release publicly a list of the names of all priests who have ministered in the Diocese of San Bernardino that have credible allegations of sexual abuse of a minor during our 40 years as a diocese. Bishop Barnes has also called upon the faithful of the diocese to confront racism as the nation and the church have continued to experience the pain of this terrible sin. It's in every culture and in every race. It is the sin that is least confessed by Catholics in the church because we don't see ourselves as racist. The Inland Empire experienced explosive growth during Bishop Barnes's episcopacy, helping make the Diocese of San Bernardino the nation's fifth largest. With that growth has come the construction of new facilities like St. Hanipero Cerro House of Formation and Bishop Gerald Barnes Newman Center at Cal State San Bernardino. In his 25 years as ordinary, Bishop Barnes dedicated 14 new churches or major church renovations and erected six new parishes in the diocese. Many times, Bishop Barnes was heard to say that the richness of our unheralded diocese is its faith-filled, creative, and resilient people. I kind of equate the Diocese of San Bernardino as Galilee. It is uh, the place that people cross through to go to Los Angeles and Disneyland and Las Vegas. And, and so sometimes you don't know it's there. You just go through it. But when you stop here and you realize what is here, and that in the sense of its people and the faith of its people, then it's more than just an oasis in the desert. It is, uh, it is part of that new Jerusalem. You know, Amaris Entregarse was always a song that we sang in church, one that I've known for most of my life. But the lyrics of that song didn't really come to life until I met Bishop Barnes, until he made it his motto, until those words came to life and it became a way of life. I think that Bishop Barnes really lives out that motto on a daily basis because he's there for the people. He's giving of his time in, in such a generous way like Jesus gave to the disciples and his followers. Tonight, as we honor Bishop Barnes with his own Amar S. Entregarse Award, we can reflect on his holy example of self-giving and the lasting impact it has had on the Church of San Bernardino. <laughs>